can you build muscle while you've been in a caloric deficit? Let's find out. All right, guys, welcome back to Build by Nando Coaching and Fitness. Today, I want to talk about something that gets a lot of people. Now, there's a lot of people are going to be arguing about this. Coaches, nutritionists, um, coaches who do bodybuilding. Um, but there's also the other half who can and will agree also with me. The question is, can you build muscle while you're being in, in a caloric deficit? What is a caloric deficit, first of all? Okay, if you're supposed to, let's say, eat 2,000 calories a day um, just to live, right, to function, and you do consume 2,000 calories, but you worked out, you weight lifted for an hour and a half, and you did pretty intensive cardio, now you're in a deficit for like 600 to 800 calories for that day in the deficit. Can you still build muscle that day? Can you still build muscle throughout the week, throughout the month, throughout your progress? Great question. Now, the thing is this, guys. If you're thinking about shredding or being in the deficit, at the same time, build muscle, let's say muscle details, muscle density, uh, mature your muscles. There's different ways of growing your muscle. A lot of people get confused about, oh, I gained two pounds of muscle, so I'm bigger. Well, that might be the only mindset that you may have, but you can, you're can you missing a big part of this, right? You're missing more of it. So you can build muscle, not necessarily add more muscle to the tissue, right? So if you were 15 pounds of, of or 15 pounds on your arms and now you're 16 pounds because you did a uh, body fat analysis, a desk scan or and body, you know, scanner, and it told you you were 15 pounds and now you're 16 pounds of muscle, but you gained weight, you gained muscle, you actually added muscle to your tissue. But can you actually gain muscle maturity? What does that mean? Can you build the muscle and sculpt that muscle to a certain extent that looks bigger? If you go to a lot of pros, this is for bodybuilding, female or males, it don't matter. You can go to your my page, okay? I have a comparison. This is probably like midsection of my page. I'm gonna try to find a picture here to show you guys. But if you guys look at one of my shows, it's like back in like 2015, and then a few years later, I basically weigh almost the same. One show I'm 172, shredded, and then the other one, I'm like 174. I think it's like two pound difference or something like that. I gotta, I gotta check again. It's like two pounds in a few years, but I'm bigger. How's that possible? How can I look bigger? Well, my muscles matured. They sculpted it to a different shape that make me look bigger. So guys, don't think about it as always like, you know, to build muscle, you need to add pounds right at muscle tissue you can also build your muscle to a certain you know shape that makes you look better that should make sense right so if you take play-doh and you make it flat right that looks flat it looks just just like just play-doh being flat you can build your play-doh to a certain you know shape and make it look good that's what it is, that's what we are, right? You start building muscles, you start lifting weights and eating the right you know, food, you can shape your muscle to a certain extent, okay? Um, so going back to the caloric deficit, can you still add muscle or shape your muscles during caloric deficit? Yes, yes you can. Guys, remember, muscles, the main source of muscle to growth and repair, it's protein. Okay, so if you have a, you focus really well on your protein source, doing your diet, doing your nutrition program, doing your weight loss, right, or your body fat loss, you can 
also, and obviously you guys, you have to lift weights. <laughs> I mean, you have to, okay? You, you, you have to be able to build that muscle, tear the muscle down so you can use your nutrients to, to repair them, to grow them, to shape them, okay? So let's make a, um, let's create an example here, okay? So again, let's go back to the 2,000 calories, right? If you eat 2,000 calories, right? Let's just go with a male. You're, you eat 2,000 calories and you train really hard and you're burning overall 3,000 calories for that day. You're in a 1,000 calorie deficit. Are you going to lose muscle or gain muscle? Good question. What are your genetics? How long have you been dieting? I mean, are you going from... 300 pound obese person to, you know, 150 pounds, or you're going from 200 pounder to 185 pounder, right? How long you've been dieting? How long you've been pushing a thousand calories in the deficit every single day? That can cause, you know, catabolism. That can, that can cause other effects that eats your muscle. So you won't be able to grow. So when you're in a deficit, guys, be in a smart deficit. What does smart deficit mean? For me, right, my, my, my definition of smart deficit, you don't want to be too big of a deficit, okay? Let's throw another example. If you're 2,000 calories, um, you consume 2,000 calories, and then let's say you burned for that day 450 extra, meaning let's say 2,450 calories. So now you're 450 calories in the deficit. Okay, so when, now you, you're, it's a lot less than a thousand. Okay, so the damage you put into your body, it's not as great as a thousand in deficit. You can't be a thousand, two thousand calories in the deficit and expect to build muscle. You have to be smart about it. I'll give you my example, another example. Okay, the more example I give you, the more you understand this. Okay, I am right. Build, building for a show, right? I'm, I'm, I'm cutting for a show, but I'm shaping my body to a certain extent because I need to look a certain way for a show, okay? So I consume from 1,600 calories to 2,100 calories. It all depends on what my day is, how hard my cardio is. Am I gonna do cardio today? Am I not gonna do cardio today? Am I gonna, you know, lift two hours of leg day? Or am I gonna, you know what I'm saying? It all depends on what my day looks like. So my focus is to make sure my nutrient timing, okay, this is another good one, guys. My nutrient timing is on point. I ensure when I have a low carb day, okay, usually low carb day and fat, so I control my fats and carbs to be lower usually than my protein. Protein always stays the same for me across the board every time I'm training for a show. If I'm starting for 200, 220 grams of protein, I'm about 200 pounds right now, um, 200 to 220 grams of protein, I go all the way, all the way to the end of my show with it, okay? The only thing I modify is my fats and my carbs, okay? I control those. So what do I do? Let's say today is a uh, 100 grams of carb day. That's very low. What do I do personally? Everybody is different, okay, guys? Everybody's different, but what do I do? What I do is, guys, I eat, let's say, my 30 grams of carbs, um, 35 grams of carbs right before my workout, okay? Literally, it's my pre-workout. I eat my meal, I eat my protein, about 30 to 35 grams, depending on what my focus is and how many meals I eat into the day, and I divide that, right? So I eat about 30, 35 grams, plus I eat my 30 grams of carbs, Again, depending on how I'm splitting it. And then I eat about 10 grams of fat. Put that into a meal, I do my workout, and then once I finish my workout, I always, I mean, I eat about two to three hours, you know, in between meals, I eat another meal who, that has my proteins, my carbs, my fats. Before all of them, no carbs, no, I mean, uh, basically no carbs. I can probably keep my fats depending on how I break it down. And then after that, after my workout and after that meal, I don't eat carbs. Right, so if your guys are gonna be in a caloric deficit because you're controlling your carbs, you're controlling your fat, just make sure you, you know your timing. Timing is really, really crucial, okay? A lot of people say scientifically, it's not scientifically proven. Well, you know what, I don't care. Experience really proves it, 
okay? Experience speaks louder than, than research, okay? A lot of us bodybuilders, a lot of us men's physique, a lot of bikini girls, my wife who's a figure competitor, okay? That's what we do. We retain as much muscle as possible and we actually, you know, we do like end body scans and we prove it. We prove that we have either not lost muscle or actually gained pounds of muscle, which is kind of cool when we do, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Can you still gain muscle during caloric deficit? Yes, you can. As long as you're eating protein on every meal, okay, those are the rules. Eat protein on every meal. If you're a female and you weigh 120 pounds, 130 pounds, and you're trying to get shredded to the bones, okay, make sure that you're eating enough protein. I always recommend a gram of protein per uh, one pound of body weight. So if you're 120, 130 pound female, eat about 100 to 100, 120 to 130 you know, grams of protein. Divide that into whatever meals you eat through the day, five, six meals, four, whatever it is. Okay, divide that equally throughout the day so you have a well-distributed source of protein throughout the day. That's gonna help you maintain right, all that muscle breakdown, the recovery, everything, okay? And then your carbs and your fats, make sure that your carbs, especially your carbs, are before and then after your workouts, okay? If you're having carbs throughout the day because you, you can split it, right? You're having about 200 grams and you have about 25 grams each meal because you can afford it, 30 grams, whatever it is per meal, then eat it throughout the day. That way you have an even source of energy, right? So you have to be smart about it, okay? Um, hopefully this video helped out on about caloric deficit and building muscle. Guys, remember, if you have more questions, please comment below. I know you have questions and I know you're gonna comment, so please comment. Okay, comment, subscribe, please support this channel, press the button down and subscribe. I have a bunch of videos that I like to you know, share with you guys, but I also listen to you guys, especially if you're sending me an email at billbernando at gmail.com, if you got a question or a comment, so you can send me an email. I also go to my emails and I read the questions and comments and then I build this video. This video is based on a Facebook comment. Okay, so just like that, guys, ask me questions. I'll make videos uh, for you guys, and hopefully it makes sense. If something did not make sense, comment, email me, okay? I also provide service, guys. Don't forget to provide nutrition services, online coaching, competitor coaching, personal training. You can go to builtbynando.com. You can also find all my services and prices in there. You can find me on Yelp, Built by Nando. Um, I'm here in California, so if you, do, you guys are not here in Cali, that's okay. I still provide online services for you guys, okay? Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I hope to see you guys on the next one with more comments and questions. Don't forget to subscribe. Much love. Thanks. See you guys later.